Strange, but true stories from visitors from outer space. Are we alone in the universe? The probability of life on other star system is very high. But how many life forms have evolved into an advanced civilizations? And where is everybody else? Here are five strange stories from people claiming to have witnessed the presence of alien life forms or UFOs. Some appear to be from outer space, others from different time dimensions. Story 1 I was laying on my bed sideways face down, a few years back on a warm afternoon. I could feel my legs being lifted up from behind until they were nearly horizontal and then slowly came back down again. I was in a light sleep and could feel this happening. Then few years later it happened again. It was around 3 a.m. in the morning, and I was sound asleep along with my wife and dog, both in the bed. I was awoke from my sleep because of an odd occurrence. I remember hearing a voice that was kind of like a child but demonic, screaming but not at me, like trying to scare me with a deep, hollow voice, no words, just growling. Then as I was sitting up, this thing grabbed my leg and folded half off my bed. I did not see anything. No form, no shadow, not even a damn orb. Nothing. I don't believe in religion or ghost, so I was doing a research on alien life forms. I found out that some of those creatures are from another parallel universe and they have the ability to jump dimensions. Were they trying to take me and forgot to put me in a deep sleep? Did I woke up in the middle of the process of abduction? This scared the hell out of me. Story number two. It was somewhere around 10 p.m. at night, and my aunt and uncle were walking out one of their good friends. We were living in Lake Forest at the time and just had a party for my aunt one-year-old son earlier that day. As we were all walking out, my aunt called out, Am I the only one seeing this? We all looked up to see a crescent-shaped light gliding in the sky. It had a low yellow glow and it glided across the sky until it did a quick turn before disappearing completely. My uncle is one of those people who don't believe in something that doesn't have facts, but even he was at a loss for words. From then on, we'd always bring up the subject with fascination and fear, wondering if we really did witness the traveling of an extraterrestrial. After all, are we alone in the universe? Story number three. This story happened to Alice from Portland, Oregon. In 1987, my husband died. A week later, in my bedroom, I had this blinds that I turned to make my room dark for morning sleeping. That morning I suddenly waked up, I saw my room was black, and there I saw a six foot hooded figure that was at the foot of my bed. I was sure I was imagining things, but it wouldn't leave. After about a minute, I finally ran out. I called my sister to come over and then my mother-in-law, mom stayed on the phone until my sister arrived. Years later. My son who was free at the time became obsessed with the Grim Reaper, he said he'd seen him. I have guilt, I never checked on the kids, I thought it was only in my room. Story number 4 In 2004, I used to work on the night shift. One day when I was sleeping I got paralyzed, it was about 10 am on summer day on the month of August. In my room. And while I was paralyzed, I saw a small devil figure. I had sleep disorders due to my night shift. I used to get sleep paralysis often, but this time I saw that devil shadow on the wall. When you are paralyzed it's very hard to open your eyes or make any other body movement. Somehow I was able to open my eyes a little. I was thinking it was just an hallucination because I always hallucinated things while I was paralyzed. Sometimes I used to see big spiders other times demons. They always freaked me out but at the end it was just an hallucination. This time when I woke up from the paralysis, the shadow was still there, it was the tree making the devil shadow and because of the wind, it looked as if the devil shadow was dancing. Story number 5 In February 2013, we moved into a rental home. It backs up to the woods. Behind the woods are some very large lakes. 
About three weeks after moving in I was sitting on the back porch when I noticed this watery waving transparent thing about 20 feet off the ground by the wood line. I thought it was some kind of weird weather phenomenon. It was about 10 feet in length and 6 feet wide. After about 20 minutes it moves forward, then to the left, then forward again, and centers itself between a tree and the wood line. By now I'm thinking what the hell is that? Within just a couple of minutes an alien appears in front of the tree. He at first was transparent, but the longer he was on the ground the more solid he became. I was not believing what I was seeing, I thought he was a hologram, and then I realized that's ridiculous. And then I realized I was looking at an alien. He doesn't see me at first, he takes a few steps towards the wood line where the watery wavy thing is and grabs an invisible bar and then starts to climb up invisible steps. When he does this he stops and turns around and looks behind him. He hasn't seen me yet. I was fascinated but also very scared at this point. Afraid he will see me, I didn't move at all. He goes back to climbing, stops turns, and looks right at me and stares at me, I pretended I don't see him. He again looks behind him, this was repeated multiple times. He was not some great alien, this was a soldier alien. He had a human body, but a creature's head. His jaw bones were very well defined and strong like he could eat the bones of a chicken, his eyes protruded out of their sockets quite a bit he never blinked they might have been some kind of recording device, nostrils no nose, I can't remember his ears, he was a chalky white color, about 6 feet 4 inches, 220 pounds. He had a light tan body suit on and he wore gloves and boots that were the same color. He was very well built like a soldier. His shirt top had three squares that were packed with something, and three or four down and across, most likely a cloaking device. Once he climbs up to the watery wavy thing he flips to his right side and enters the watery wavy thing, at this point his back is to me and he is climbing like he's climbing a rock wall, he never looks at me again. Once he climbs through it he disappears and the watery wavy thing disappears also. I contacted Mothphone and they have run my story. They had me put up hunting trackers in my backyard and in September 2017, one of the trackers caught the UFO in the clouds over my neighbor's house. This is something I will never forget and I feel blessed to not only have lived through it but to be one of the few that have actually seen an alien and have a photo of this UFO. Hoping my trackers will one day actually get a photo of him.